And Ren is going to apparently sit down in the snow to talk to Angela. I mean, why not, right? It's The Sims. Where else would she sit but in the snow? Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hethwin and we are back to play some more of the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. And we are almost done with Generation 2. Finally, this has been like a really long time coming. We've, we're really waiting for our Generation 2 Sim Ren to become an elder because that is what she needs to be to finish off the rest of the goals for her generation. Just to do a real quick recap of what those goals have been for her since we are about done, I thought I would pull up the rules and we could look at those before we get into gameplay. Also, the rules to this challenge will be linked down below if you want to go and look at those and see for yourself what the Whimsy Story Legacy Challenge is all about. Taking a real quick look at those goals for Generation 2, she had to adopt four children and or have science babies. So her first two children, Lily and Madeline, she adopted after fostering them through the foster care network. And that's Ahmad by Little Miss Sam, also linked down below if you are curious about that. And or have science babies. Her youngest two children, William and Elizabeth, have been science babies. Must not be in a relationship till elderhood. This is where we are. Mary as an elder, also where we are. So in the last episode, Ren aged up into an elder. And so we are at the point where we are going to be looking at finishing these last two goals. Complete the super parent aspiration, which she has done. Have the unflirty and the family oriented traits. She did have both of those as she aged up into an elder though, we gave her the new wise trait that came with for rent and got rid of the unflirty because if she's gonna start to be in a relationship, I thought unflirty might be a little bit of a challenge. Complete the parenting and research and debate skills, which we've done. Must go all out for every season, which we've also done. It's currently all decked out for Winterfest because we celebrated Winterfest not too long ago in game. Must complete the education career. We've done that. Always have at least one animal in the household. Also done that. Currently, the current dog is Penny and have a gallery wall full of family photos, which we have also done. So really, it's just about getting Ren through this elder relationship and finding that perfect person to finish off her life with. So if we hop over here into our game, it is the morning now after Ren's birthday party in which she became an elder. And it is also going to be New Year's. So one of the things that I want to do today is I want to start looking at who could be a potential romantic partner for Ren. But then also Elizabeth, who is going to be our Gen 3 heir, she is going to age up into a teenager on Monday. And so I would like to finish off her slumber party aspiration with her. So she needs to achieve gold in a slumber party event. Since it's Saturday and New Year's, today seems like a good day to do that. And then maybe Ren can set up that slumber party event. Oh dear, it looks like a lot of Elizabeth's friends are no teenagers, which will make for uh, an interesting slumber party. Um, really, Mackenzie Rasoya is the only one that is still a child, so I think we're going to need to pick someone else that's maybe a teenager for her to have come over. Let's do Chastity Shay. I think that was one of them. So we'll pick those two. It'll be a small slumber party. Um, and let's have it start at 5 p.m. And obviously here at the house will be where it is. So we've got the slumber party queued up and ready to go. I'm assuming, I think she's friends with Ch Yes, she does know Chastity. I think that she might be in her friend's group. Yeah, she is in her friend's group. But most of the girls in Elizabeth's friend's group are now teenagers. So we're a bit limited there. So for Ren and her potential love interest, oh, yeah. I was thinking maybe one of her longtime friends. So Nani, who's been her friend for forever, is actually married. And so is Melanie. But Angela is not. Angela is still an adult, but she's going to be an elder really soon. She has children of her own, but maybe she is the one. Now... If you remember from way back forever and ever ago, they actually went to prom together as friends 
Yeah, so they were like really good friends. Like they went to prom together. They celebrated their graduation together. So I kind of think that Angela might be the one that Ren kind of looks at and decides, hey, this is maybe the person for me after all. Maybe after all of these years, they finally recognize that they actually have an attraction to each other and they are getting both getting older. They're coming to the end of their lives and they just don't want to be alone anymore. Ooh, a wise lesson. Ren is a wise sim. These sims have lived a full life of experience and acquired a wealth of knowledge along the way. They enjoy and are more efficient when mentoring other sims with, with their occasionally unsolicited morsels of wisdom. Throughout the years, they've also learned how to deal with angry and uncomfortable emotions and more, quick, more quickly and will gain all skills faster and increase satisfaction. However, sometimes past unwanted memories might emerge from a wise sim's mind palace when reflecting on life. It's just a small price to pay for their archive of knowledge. So that is one of the new traits that is elder specific that came with for Ren, and I thought it would be fun to kind of explore that a little bit with Ren. Now it is New Year's Eve, and we're gonna have everybody set some New Year's resolutions. We'll start with Ren. I'm kind of thinking since our goal with her right now is to have her fall in love and get married, I think we're going to make her resolution to have a significant other. She just aged up into an elder. She's kind of stopping and reflecting on her life. And like we just said, she is kind of wanting a partner and not wanting to be alone. And then for Elizabeth, since we are wanting to complete her aspiration, we'll have her complete an aspiration milestone. And William is going to raise a skill. So William is an admired icon. He needs to make 10 teen friends. So he needs to kind of work on that a little bit. He does have a friend group of his own and he has a couple of friends in that friends group that he's not friends with yet. So we can do that for him. So I think we're going to have Ren and Angela go out and have some lunch on this New Year's Eve. They're not gonna be getting together to celebrate New Year's Eve because Elizabeth is having a slumber party, so Ren has to be home for that. But she and Angela have decided that they were going to go out to lunch and kind of cap off this last year together. So they are here at this restaurant for lunch. And Ren is going to apparently sit down in the snow to talk to Angela. I mean, why not, right? It's The Sims. Where else would she sit but in the snow? Oh, and apparently Nani has shown up in a bathing suit top. I feel like it's a little chilly for this. All right, I guess we'll have Ren get up out of the snow and go ask for a table for her and Angela to have a little lunch together. Come on, Ren, get up. Get out. Of I mean, I realize you're an elder now and getting up might be a bit of a challenge, but you do need to get up. There you go. All right, Ren is asking for a table for her and Angela. It's dine out, so who knows how this will go. They're gonna have some lunch. Let's order for the table. <clears throat> and then they can chat a little bit. Ren has decided that this is an ideal time to whip out her cross stitch, because where else would you cross stitch but at a restaurant when you're gonna have lunch with one of your best friends? Ren, honestly. And then you're just gonna put it on the floor? Okay. So they are ordering their lunch, and Ren is going to try to catch up a little bit. She's, like, asking Angela how things have been going, and, you know, things for both of them, they both have had children, so they've been a little bit distant from each other at times, but I think they're both really excited to have this chance to grab some lunch together, to catch up with each other, and just see how it's going. They, they're talking a little bit about their lives and their future and they're both kind of realizing that they don't want to spend the rest of their lives alone also celebrating new year's with horns and noisemakers because why not and i think ren is she's gonna be a little bit bold here and say to angela you know i've been against relationships for a long time but now that i am getting older I want to not be alone anymore. The kids are getting older. They're getting ready to move out. And I've always thought that you were really pretty and really attractive. And we've always gotten along really well. Honestly, the noisemakers are ruining the whole thing. 
<laughs> Angela, I think, is feeling the same way. They're starting to develop a very tiny romance bar with each other. And you're getting up now and the food's come. What are you guys doing? They are both connecting over this date. They're starting to feel a little bit flirty. Ren is having a hot lunch date. Taking Ren's favorite sim out to lunch makes her very happy. So they are starting to develop a little bit of a romance with each other. And I think they're both interested in this, but they're a little hesitant at the same time because, you know, Ren has all never been in a relationship before. Who is this little boy that's just come over? Who are you? Joshua Lauren is like crashing their little lunch date. Why, why can't anything go according to plan in The Sims? Why does it always have to be chaos? And now it's time to start the slumber party. So I guess we better go do that. <laughs> All right, we tried. We tried to have Ren have a little date with her friend and start that romance, but no, it's not working that way. I guess we can have the guests get their sleeping bags set up. Chastity's over here interacting with Penny. I don't know what she's doing, but she is interacting with Penny. Why did you put your sleeping bag in the snow? This is a terrible place for a sleeping bag. Inside. Okay, we got one sleeping bag set up in the right place. So this is good. Um, Let's get some slumber party snacks. We'll have a pizza. So let's get the pizza out. And then everybody can come and have some pizza as part of the slumber party. So we need this to be gold for Elizabeth to complete her slumber party animal aspiration. As part of the slumber party, they can also watch the countdown for New Year's Eve. All right, we're going to have Elizabeth tell a story because she does want to do that. So let's get everybody down here. She can tell a story. We'll tell a couple of stories and then we'll get ready to watch the countdown for New Year's. So everyone is kind of coming around. It is getting later. They're going to watch some of the end of the year festivities as they are celebrating New Year's Eve. They're all going to watch the countdown together. Everyone is having a pretty good New Year's so far. I mean, Elizabeth's getting to have a sleepover, so that's fun for her. That's like a good way for her to celebrate the New Year. Ren is in her pajamas because she's getting older. She can't stay up quite as late. I say this, I don't work well. I barely made it to midnight this year and I like passed out afterwards. I was exhausted. So staying up to midnight is rough for me too. All right, it is shushubi time. Why can't they shushubi together? Like William is like in a different time than everyone else's. His shishubis are before everybody else. They are not synchronized in their countdown. Happy New Year! All right, the Sims have celebrated their New Year's with each other. Oh, and and Elizabeth and Mackenzie are giving them each other hugs. I think it's time though for the slumber party uh, people to get some sleep. So let's have Elizabeth announced that it is time for bed, and then Ren and William can also go to sleep. All right, New Year's Eve was successful. The slumber party guests are still asleep, as it is very early in the morning. And the slumber party, though, is starting to wrap up and come to an end. And Elizabeth has earned gold on her slumber party, and her aspiration is completed. So Elizabeth has just achieved her childhood dream of becoming the most fun party host of all time. She has earned the practiced host trait, so friendly and funny socials during parties will always succeed. And she completed her New Year's resolution, so she is feeling pretty awesome. And since her birthday will be in game tomorrow, I don't think that there is a need to have her select another aspiration. So yeah, so she has got the practiced host trait now from that. And since it's now spring and time to start thinking about warmer things, I think we're going to take down all the Winterfest decorations and kind of switch over to some spring decoration. Oh my gosh, I just noticed Chastity was out here sleeping in the cold. Oh my gosh, how she didn't freeze to death is beyond me, but she was asleep in the backyard in the snow. All right, slightly updated look to the house for spring and love day, which will be happening in game shortly. 
I kind of think today with it being Sunday and there is not much going on that maybe stopping and revisiting things with Angela and Ren, maybe they can go somewhere together and talk a little bit more and kind of just see how things are going. So Angela came over to visit. She's now an elder, and I think we're going to have Ren and her interact a little bit. She's going to come in and ask Angela how things are going. And I think Angela's going to tell her that she's been doing a lot of thinking about what they were talking about when they went out to lunch, about, you know, just not wanting to finish out the rest of their lives alone. And she's like, you know, I've really been thinking a lot about what you had to say, and I think you're right. And I think that we've had, we've been friends for so long that perhaps spending the rest of our lives together isn't a bad idea. Of course, there's like, the kids are all like standing right here, which is making this conversation awkward. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe they can go upstairs and chat in Ren's room. Let's have them come in here. Yeah, go go chat upstairs, you two, where you can not have children like lurking over your shoulder for a few minutes. Okay, we're locking so Ren's door so nobody oh, no. comes in and they can actually talk. <laughs> Angela has said, I've really been thinking a lot about what you were talking about, about not wanting to spend the rest of your life alone. And I know you've never really been in any romantic relationship before, but I've also had feelings for you for a long time as well. And we've been friends for so long that it makes sense to me that maybe we would just commit ourselves to each other. And then that way we have each other, we can be supportive of each other as our children age up and they move out on their own. Then we can be in this relationship with one another. And Ren is like, you know, I never really looked a whole lot at other people from a romantic perspective that was never really on my radar. But as we have been spending more time together and as time has gone on, I'm starting to realize that I think I did have feelings for you for a long time. And Angela agrees and she knew that Ren wasn't really interested in romance and romantic relationships. And so she had always kind of backed off a little bit. And now the opportunity is starting to present itself. They're interested in exploring things a little bit more. And it is a little awkward, I think, for Ren because she is a lot older now. And, you know, a lot of time has passed. But they're going to give this a try. And you know what? Ren is going to have her first ever kiss with Angela. And they have celebrated their first kiss together. This is Ren's first ever kiss, and she's doing it as an elder, and I think it's good. Oh my goodness, and now Ren is starting to feel like an expert at flirting these days. At heart, she just might be a true romantic. Embrace the change. I think we're going to go with this. I think that maybe Angela has, like, opened up a new chapter in Ren's life, and Ren is going to be romantic. And honestly, I think the kids will be happy. You know, Angela has obviously been a fixture in their life for a while, and so it's not going to be that weird for them, I don't think. They're going to move a little bit slow. They're not going to get married or move in together just yet. They're still going to just kind of explore things a little bit and see how that all goes. And Ren is over here. She has, like, got inspiration happening from bringing out the best. She adores the people around her. She's had her very first kiss, so she's feeling pretty good. And Elizabeth is over here maxing the creativity skill, which we love for her and will be useful for her as she goes forward into her teenage years and young adulthood as well. Oh, William's conflict resolution is in range to earn the mediator trait. Uh, good for William. I don't know what he was doing to help manage his conflicts, but good for him. We like that. Elizabeth has approached Ren about the best void critter. I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was the Articorn, but he kept saying Sunator. Which one is it? And Ren is going to want her to have some conflict resolution skills, so she's going to say both are equally powerful. And it is now Monday morning in a game. Everybody is waking up, and it is going to be Elizabeth's birthday today. So I think the plan will be we'll get everybody set off to school. 
we'll send William alone to high school and kind of let Ren do whatever she needs to do around the house. Maybe she can, you know, chat with Angela a little bit. But then when Elizabeth comes home from school, then we will be celebrating her birthday. And I think we won't have like a formal birthday party for her, but I think having her have her friends group come over for her birthday probably makes the most sense and is probably what we are going to do to get that started. All right, kids are heading off to school. Ren is going to give a bath to Penny, who is dirty again. I swear this dog is constantly filthy. Like, look at her. She's disgusting. She's the smelliest dog ever. Great. The kids have come back home from school. Oh my goodness. Lexi, who is their cousin, is now a child. And she came home from school with Elizabeth and really does need a makeover but that might have to wait for another another time here and i think now that she's home we're gonna need to get a cake going so ren can start a cake can we can we do a blue confetti cake yeah let's do a blue confetti cake and then we'll have elizabeth start a gathering of her friends group oh mackenzie also aged up into a teenager so she's gonna need a makeover so off camera, I'm going to have to do a bunch of makeovers for people. So this is perfect. Now I'll... Oh my gosh! What are you wearing, Jacqueline? <gasps> this is kind of scandalous. How did you show... Oh my gosh. This is a child's birthday party. Okay, well this is more... Less terrifying. Okay. Oh, hi. I th these... We need makeovers for people. Because the things they're wearing are concerning all right i think we're gonna have elizabeth blow out her candles everybody's already kind of like gathering around so elizabeth will come and blow out her candles and we will get her teenage birthday celebrated happy birthday elizabeth look at that toothy grin i love that and elizabeth has aged up into a teenager she has earned the high self-esteem trait so these sims regularly become confident even when failing to gain skills or succeed at work they are less likely to develop a feel of failure which i do actually think fits with the storyline for generation three now we do need to real quickly look a little bit at what the goals are for generation three as we are going to be assigning her her aspiration and her next trait so generation three has to complete the serial romantic aspiration i think we're gonna have her have a teenage aspiration first because we've been doing that with all of our sims i think that it does make sense and it applies in these cases and i have one in mind for elizabeth that i think will be really good so she's gonna but she will have the serial romantic aspiration when she ages up into a young adult She's going to complete the mixologist career. This is really what we're most looking at. Have the clumsy, non-committal, and outgoing traits. She already has the outgoing trait. I think we're going to end up giving her the clumsy trait. Also, she's always going to have fun and bright hair. So as we give her a makeover, she's we're going to have to keep that in mind for her. Uh, she's going to have a little bit of a one-night stand with a few different sims and she will end up with a child that she doesn't know who the parent is of that child so that will also make things fun and interesting she can get married and have children but we'll just wait and see how her story progresses as to whether or not we're going to end up doing that but for right now we do need to give her the clumsy trait a uh, non-committal i believe happens as a young adult so i'm just verifying that yeah so she is going to clumsy so she's outgoing and clumsy which will make for a very fun teenager and then i thought for her teenage aspiration she would have the live fast aspiration so these sims aim to get the most out of life by living cares free and rules free clearly through her story as a young adult she doesn't really care about the rules and she's really a lot more interested in like having fun and partying she's wants to complete the dancing mixology and juice fizzing skills if you go back up and look a little bit further up in her story um when it says as soon as you are out of teenagehood which was a wild time of partying and homework being turned in late i think that that kind of 
fits this live fast aspiration for her. So that is going to be her aspiration. And that's going to give her the relatable trait where she'll build friendly relationships with fellow teens faster. So this is going to be Elizabeth as a teenager. I think the last thing that we we're going to do in today's episode is give her a makeover. You know what? Her hair uh, in the crazy hairstyle actually kind of is fitting for her. But let's give her a teenage makeover. So here we have Elizabeth as a teenager. We gave her some fun hair color. I thought that maybe to start with, she doesn't like go all out with dyeing her hair a specific color. She starts by just like doing the ends. I also gave her some piercings. I think we will probably have her have some more piercings. Like right now I've given her a septum, but I could see her getting like an eyebrow ring and maybe something like with her lips as time goes on as that kind of seems like it's gonna fit the lifestyle that she's going to but she is super cute i think i think she looks really cute yeah so this is her everyday outfit this is her formal wear i thought that too as she gets a little bit older like maybe her outfits start to get to be a little bit more revealing they start to be a lot more adult, but to start with, she's not quite there yet. So this is her formal wear, her athletic wear, sleep wear, party wear, swim wear, hot weather wear, and cold weather wear. And so we now have Elizabeth as a teenager. Jen, too, is starting to wrap up now that Ren is an elder and she is developing a bit of a romantic relationship with Angela Conrad. And... Our Gen 3 is now a teenager. And so with all of these new developments, I think we're going to wrap up things here for today. I'm really excited to get started with Generation 3. I think we're going to have a couple more episodes with Gen 2 because Ren does need to get married. She's an elder now. She's got that romantic relationship developing. and But I do think that she's going to be getting married, if not in the next episode, then the one after that. And then once that is done, all of our focus is going to really shift into Elizabeth and how she's going to be. And once we shift into Elizabeth, I will go back and I will read through the story and all of the rules and goals for Generation 3 so we can bring that up to date. Let me know what you think about Elizabeth's updated look and let me know what you think about the budding romance between Ren and her longtime friend, Angela. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!